Microplastic syndrome might soon become an official medical diagnosis. A group of researchers is now working to provide an official definition to the harms that microplastics cause on human bodies so they might be able to officially someday diagnose patients when they come in with some of these issues. I can't tell you how incredibly validating this is for me, but how much of a huge step forward this is for um, the human species, right? That we might be able to formally diagnose people and then hopefully treat it by literally eliminating plastic from people's lives in order to save them. Seriously, I'm so excited for this. Okay, so a group of researchers from different parts of the world, they are working together to provide an official definition for what they're calling microplastics syndrome. Half of all plastic was manufactured between 2003 and 2022. So this group of researchers looked at 44 groups of diseases. And so the outcomes suggest that micro and nanoplastics have been connected to lots of pathological alterations in a number of different organ systems, right? I've been talking about this, such as the gastrointestinal tract, like intestines, liver, and pancreas, breathing systems, eyes, brain, and vascular stru structures, right? So standardized mortality rates increased significantly in only eight of the 46 illness categories that they examined between the 19 years of the most plastic production, right? 2003 and 2022. More than eight positive responses may indicate a presumptive diagnosis of microplastics syndrome. Basically, microplastics impact so many of our body systems. However, they've identified eight where there are very significant impacts, right? Hopefully someday, if a patient goes into a doctor's office and um, they speak of some of the issues they're having, they might be able to then say, you know what, you are being affected by microplastic syndrome. This is huge. Once we're able to diagnose it, then we're going to be able to treat it. And some of those treatments might be stop drinking out of bottled water, stop eating ultra processed foods, um, open your doors and windows more. This is huge news for the anti-plastic movement that all of us are a part of um, and a huge step forward towards a plastic free world.